hello everybody and welcome back to Simon Plays. I'm Simon and today we're playing more Bloodborne. We're gonna use these blood echoes. Uh, last episode we left off at the bridge. I just traveled here to skip the loading screen for you guys. And we got some items for uh, online play. Let's see if German has anything new to say. Oh, German is gone. Is he back here? No, he isn't. Okay. I don't think we got enough. Yeah, yeah, we need eight now and we only have one. We don't have the... yep, okay, we can't use that yet. Now this shop sells stuff with insight. Be careful not to drop to zero insight because you, cause you won't be able to level up afterwards. Uh, for now, it does not have anything really. Also with a badge we got from the first boss, this uh, fountain is now selling some more stuff, the Kirkhammer the Yarnam stuff and the hunter chief emblem a cloth emblem that belonged to the captain of the church hunters long ago opens the main gate that leads to the round plaza of the grand cathedral this is not the bridge gate this is a different gate right the main gate is shut tight on nights of the hunt and could only be opened from the other side with this emblem in other words the captain's return and this emblem determined the end of the hunt so they would give this to uh, the captain of the hunters, he would go out on a hunt and then when they returned They would show this and it would signify that the hunt is over and the gates would open We're not gonna buy this. It's too expensive The area is a bit high level if we go now and we can just uh, Loop around behind it Enter it in a different manner. We are going to buy a hunt lantern this will allow us to have a semblance of light when we need to also use our gun and you can just pop it there hello good hun. i am a doll here in this dream to look after you honorable hunter pursue the echoes of blood and i will channel them into your strength you will hunt beasts, and I will be here for you, to embolden your sickly spirit. Did you speak with German? He was a hunter long, long ago, but now serves only to advise them. He is obscure, unseen in the dreaming world. Still, he stays here, in this dream. Such is his purpose. Okay. Ah, the little ones. And then this for the Inhabitants messengers. Inhabitants of the dream. They find hunters like yourself, worship and serve them. Speak words they do not. But still, aren't they sweet? Ah. Yeah. So she farewell, means the fountain, babes. <laughs> These guys, they also uh, are on the specters, and they are also on the gravestones. Uh, also, I don't know if you know this, but she responds to gestures. Well, yeah. Welcome. What? So in Very most. Well. Souls born games. I suggest leveling up damage first. Close. No. But in Bloodborne, health is like uh, it's broken <laughs> because of the rally system. The regain when you attack enemies after they hit you, the more health you have, the more you can regain, and it's just very strong to have a good base health pool also 15 skill is a lot that we start with and 
Besides, a, a lot of the weapons in the early game don't have good scaling with their respective skills, so it's better to just get some health. Farewell, may you. And let me see, how many attacks can I? One, two, three, four, five. No, it's fine. We don't need any more endurance for now. Okay, so there's nothing else we can do here. We can return to Yarnam now. We know there's no way through the Great Bridge. Maybe Gilbert can give us some more information on how to get through. Madud, the bridge is closed. Yes, I see. But the Great Bridge is the only way to the Cathedral Ward. And during the hunt, the bridge is closed. Hmm. You could try the aqueduct. There's a rather, how shall I put it, powerful area south of the Great Bridge. From there, an aqueduct leads to the Cathedral Ward. <coughs> Not a place you'd normally want to visit, but... I don't imagine you have much of a choice, do you? Okay. <laughs> An aqueduct, not, a, yeah. not much of a... So he's saying the aqueduct is to the south of this bridge. So let's go this way. We know... Oh, come on. I mean, south on its own means nothing, right? But he told us earlier that the cathedral world is to the east, so we know that south is that way. Again, we're just coming here for the bullets. No. As we're moving south, you come to this elevator that I showed you before, but it's not accessible. So we'll need to find another way south, I guess. Let's go around here. This should put us where the dogs were. Yep. Let's kill the dogs. I want you to see something. You see there is an item over there, next to the lantern. I want you to remember the placement of that item. Because it's actually very interesting. We don't know of any safe places to tell here. Yeah, I should have known. You're good for nothing. No respect for the elderly is what that is. That not a good view outsiders do. Go on, admit it. You think we're all mad, don't you? Well, go and stop it. I know all your tricks. Now. I would very much like to have all the time in the world to speak about this relief on top of the house. It's on top of all the houses and there is a lot of lore behind the statues and general iconography in Yarnam. But I don't have the time to do this during a playthrough, it would take too long and there is actually an excellent video on the topic from the Tarnished Archaeologist on YouTube. He only has four videos on Bloodborne at this point, 
but they're all excellent and the ones talking about the reliefs and the statues especially are uh, prime material so I suggest you go and watch those if you want to get more info on the environmental lore okay so this is obviously not the main way to go we dropped from that window there is a couple of items here it's a trap <laughs> if you try to hit it you'll most likely fall down but the weapon i am wielding allows me to hit it while not looking at it which helps a lot we can do the same here just have to position ourselves properly and this stuff drops all the way down so we'll have to do a few runs through this area but it's fine and here we meet the, the, the best waifu so you might notice we are now at that place where we could see the item we were before up there but there is no item here it's only Aileen however if you look closely <laughs> they seem to have put an item that you cannot pick up inside the uh, piles of whatever this is so they attract your attention here right possibly they thought that if they just put Eileen because she wears black you wouldn't be able to see her or whatever but it is clear they have put an item inside the, <laughs> the things here that you cannot pick up oh a hunter, are you? A hunter. And an outsider. What a mess you've been caught up in. And tonight of all nights. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Prepare yourself for the worst. There are no humans left. They're all flesh-hungry beasts now. We know that's not true. We've spoken to a couple of humans, right? Still lingering about. What's wrong? A hunter unnerved by a Unnerved. Few beasts. <laughs> <laughs> no matter. Without fear in our hearts, we're little different from the beasts themselves. I love this NPC, the way she talks is. What are you still doing here? Enough trembling in your boots. A hunter must hunt. A hunter must hunt. Okay, so she gave us a bold hunter's mark. When you start the game, you have this dangling upside down rune etched in one's mind, symbol of a hunter. By focusing one's thoughts on this rune, a hunter loses all blood echoes but awakens afresh, as if it were all just a bad dream. This is obviously a human hanging upside down for bloodletting right and it says dangling upside down room right and she gave us this the bold hunter's mark again dangling upside down room uh, the image upon this parchment allows one to envision the room with clarity allows a hunter to awaken again without losing blood echoes so we can use these to teleport back to the latest la uh, lamp we have lit Without losing our echoes. Okay, so now we need to find that ladder that... Is it called the staircase? Yeah, ladders are the ones you climb. The staircase. We wanna go here. We wanna fight this guy that patrols. Come on. I hate staircases. So we're right back here, where we dropped into the window. We can go down here. There is a guy we can backstab here. But when you do this, to your left there will be a, a sniper. There he goes. So be sure to get out of the way fast.
Okay. The timing is usually perfect there, if you do it right. I don't think there is anything else here. No. Technically we should drop to grab those items we dropped from upstairs. But before we do that, we'll go out here and clear some gunners. Yeah, see those two guys? They can make your life a living hell. If you're not careful. And there's a guy behind you now? No? Where is he? Hmm. I'm fairly certain there is another beast here. Oh, he fell down? How did he fall down? I've never seen this before. Oh, I missed. I actually missed. Lock only in this game is not ideal. A lot of the times you'll find that lock on actually hampers your ability to fight. But parrying is generally best by locking on. We're gonna kill these crows here because they're gonna jump down when we are crossing below. Okay. Over there is where we found the attire that we're wearing, the hunter's clothes. It was right over there. So we are now on the other side of the aqueduct. And I guess this is the Great Bridge. It's no, this isn't the Great Bridge. It's behind it, I think we cannot see it right now. There's obviously a ladder here. It goes. First we're gonna drop here. Okay. And then we'll run back. Now I have to do a couple of rounds to get the two items. I'm gonna first drop this side. There's three over there. Just be careful in general, there's a lot of them in some of these areas. Now there's no way back up, so we can only go down. Fight these. We got the Madman's Knowledge. The Madman's Knowledge is an item that allows you to gain insight. And this is how you can level up before the first boss. You come here, you pick this up, you use it, you return to the dream and you can level up before the first boss. The doll is awake. You can see it's a c skull cracked open with a type of slug. It's called a phantasm in this game. Uh, popping out of the head. Making contact with Eldritch Wisdom is a blessing, for even if it drives one mad, it allows one to serve a grander purpose for posterity. And this will lead us back to the aqueduct, where we have to take the ladder up again and drop on the other side. We want to drop here. I try to drop on the side which has no rats. So I don't get instantly pummeled. Oh no. You shouldn't have heard me. And we got the Soul Spirit. The Soul Spirit is a very nice weapon, depending on your build. It's essentially like the the shock lever, but it's alternate the trick mode is a spear which you can use to thrust. Uh, 
Well, I prefer the cleaver. For now, at least. Okay, so we've got everything here. We can move on. I don't think there is anything back here. Yeah. Let's first take the snake eater number two ladder. And I'm still in a dream. Snake eater. <laughs> my god, my voice. <coughs> it completely broke up. Okay, so there's a couple of crows here. Again, be careful, they're fairly easy, but if they start hitting you, they won't stop until you die. Most of the time, they will chain you. There's a fat guy here and he's carrying a big log, I think, so you should be a bit careful. He hits a bit harder than the rest. Again, these statues in a different... Um, how do you say it? Configuration. But it is the statues. Wretched outsider. Trying to fool me to open this door. Heavens and depths of depravity. <laughs> open up. Wretched out okay, nothing new. And you can see back there, that's where we met Aileen. The item still shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is no item there. Now, this ladder leads to that locked gate that I showed you earlier. Come on, come on, come on. So, we're here with uh, three dogs. And the fat guy over there. I didn't pull anything, did I? No. Sometimes the fat guy pulls out of nowhere, so I'm just trying to be careful. Are you? I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? And this is where you look for my mum. Daddy never came back from the hunt, and she went to find him. But now she's gone too. I'm all alone. I'm scared. Man, this is sad, this little girl. Really? Oh, thank you. My mum wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mum, give her this music box. It plays one of Daddy's favourite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mom says so silly for off without it. Okay, so both her mom and dad are outside. She, her dad, it seems, occasionally forgets them. And they play the music box so he remembers. A small music box received from a young Yarnam girl plays a song shared by her mother and father. Inside the lid is a small scrap of paper, perhaps an old message. Two names can be made out, however faintly. Viola and Gascoigne. And she wants us to help her find her mother. My mum wears it so big and beautiful. Oh, and if you find me. Yeah, this is not gonna go well, no matter what you do. So try to close your heart to it, as Kratos would say. Close your heart to their suffering. Also, I wanted to point out, she said that she doesn't recognize us, recognizes us, but she knows that smell. Remember that. Because it seems a lot of NPCs know who or what we are, more like what we are, based on our scent.
Now, you can skip all of these. They're a bit dangerous and they honestly don't give a lot of echoes. But I like to clear everything on my first run through from an area. Just to keep up to date with levels. However little echoes they give, they still do give them. And they drop some stuff as well. Every blood veil you find now is a blood veil you don't have to farm later, so or buy later. I don't think there's anything in here. No. And we're gonna keep going down the aqueduct. I don't think there's anything in here either. Yep. There is something in there though. But let's not get cornered. Oh, dead? Okay. I think there is another one that just never jumps down. I don't think how you... I don't, don't know how to trigger it. It just stays there. I mean, how to properly trigger it without shooting at it. You can see there is a big pig in there. We'll fight it. Don't worry. We'll just do snake eater ladder number three. First. So we can get a shortcut. Now, we are now south of the Great Bridge. There's the Great Bridge over there. We went through the aqueduct. So I'm guessing you know where this leads. Yep, you guessed it. Right back here with the two fat guys that you can farm for blood vials, 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 vials. Okay, so we can technically take the bridge. I can't show you somehow, I don't think. There is a guy with a huge pole. You, do you see it on the other side? And he's gonna light it on fire and throw it at me if I try to cross the bridge. So we're gonna go below it, through the sewers, the aqueduct, whatever this thing is. Do not be alarmed by the pig. It does nothing. And you can just do that, <laughs> whatever that is, <laughs> and kill it. And we got the saw hunter buds. Uh, not here. Buds crafted long ago at the workshop attests to one's prowess as a hunter of beasts. And of course it's serrated. The workshop is gone and no group recognizes the meaningless buds except the messengers in the bath who understand its profundity. Certain things can only be entrusted with a hunter in possession of these buds, or so they believe. So I guess by now you understand. We find these budges, we take it to the messengers uh, in the hunter's stream and they sell new stuff. Now, if you are new, you've probably... Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's nothing down there. It's just death. And if you're just running forward, you might not even notice it. And just... Just from soft design. It's right after the shortcut, though, so they don't punish you too much for not paying attention. Now, this is the bridge we just skipped. We're on its other side now. Again, this statue, the depiction of this woman. Ah. If you're lucky, this guy also lights himself on fire with a huge ball and dies instantly. Oh. That 
doesn't always happen, but it does. And I think... I'm not sure if there is any items here besides the ones these guys might drop. There are none. But they drop some vials, so that's good. Let's do this. Also, the blood vials uh, heal for a percentage of your health. I think it's like 40% or 30%, something like that. So the more HP you have, the more they heal. Now, these guys are very dangerous. I've often died here, especially this one to the left. So I'll try to... Yeah, okay. Oh no, come on. <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And here is our first real boss fight, quote-unquote real. We have to equip the... What is it? The tiny music box. We can use it to stun the boss. And we'll do that on its phase 2. So we're gonna go ham on him. And then when he transitions into phase 2 and switches to whatever happens, you'll see. Uh, we will use the music box to stun him, because you cannot just spam it. all over the shop. You'll be one of them, sooner or later. <laughs> I think he's talking to himself. <laughs> not us. I don't know. Okay, you just, you just want to parry him. It's very simple. He's not that hard. That's why I said quote-unquote real boss. Attack me. Not that way. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. I didn't have enough time to use my body for a visceral. Oh, what's that smell? Again, he points out the smell. The sweet blood. Oh, it sings to me. Oh, it's enough oh, no. to make a man sick. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Okay, he has 50%, he has 50%. So now you want to rush him. You might be able to do a couple of these before he turns. Is he not gonna turn? Okay, here it is. So now he turns. We play the music box. He stuns. We go behind him. It didn't work. Now it did. And he's dead. And that was Father Gascoigne. We got the Uden Tomb Key. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uden. <coughs> Beyond the tomb, Uden Chapel can be found in the center of the Cathedral Ward. Only today, the church is abandoned, and some say that the residents of Uden have all gone mad. I'm gonna light the lamp here. And then, you can see an item up there. So obviously, I mean, the guy was called Gascoigne, right? Viola and Gascoigne. So he was the father, we just killed him. And I guess you know who this is. She's wearing the red jewel thing. Yeah. So this was Vi Viola. So the little Yarnam girl is essentially an orphan now. Yeah. It 
gets worse. It does get worse. Alright. So, we made it into the Cathedral Ward, essentially. Through the sewers. A real spelunker. Here, we got the Blood Gem Workshop 2. We don't have any Blood Gems yet, but this will allow us to use Blood Gems on our weapons. The hunter who retrieves this can fortify weapons by kneading Blood Gems into them. Blood Gems add properties to weapons when used to fortify them, as blood defines an organism. Here we are, the Cathedral Ward. Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside, waiting for it to end. It always does, always has, you know, since forever. But it won't end nicely, not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. The screams of women folk, the stench of blood, the snarls of beasts, none of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell him to come on over, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> so he seems shady AF, but he is one of the good guys actually. He does want to protect people inside the chapel here. Uh, he also said the incense masks their scent. I know I shouldn't be asking you, but if you happen upon someone while hunting, tell him about this here Erden Chapel. If they seem worth being told, that is. Oh, and I do sincerely hope they are. <laughs> so he wants us to send people to him. He wants us, to, if we find any survivors, to guide them to Uden Chapel. I think we're gonna call this an episode now. I... Starting from the next episode, because we're gonna have to do a lot of fast traveling, I will cut out uh, loading screens for going to the Hunter's Dream. Thank you for joining me, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, remember to like and subscribe. Please do like and subscribe, it makes all the difference to me. And thank you again, bye bye.